just saw Star Wars Force Awaken and it was awesome. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. JJ Abrams' love letter to his childhood. Well done. Remixed it in all the right ways. Left nothing on the table. And what would you give it out of 100? Out of 100? Yeah. 98. 98. Alright. 85. <laughs> 85 out of 100. I liked it a lot. I didn't love it. Alright. 80? 80. Oh! Wow! What? Well made, but I was disappointed. I'm gonna tell there you. There, there, are, there uh, are things I was very disappointed. I'm concerned in. for the next one. Put it that way. Uh, Different director. Ryan Johnson. But not the director. What was the major problem for you? I mean, 80 is high anyway, but what would be the major issue? Plot? Story? Um, Action? Direction? Okay. What was left for the next movie? The Tons. Movie to, a lot of the things that I liked about the... Spoiler free. Uh, there's six or seven <laughs> big <laughs> questions <laughs> that were not answered in this movie. I, you Six know, or I, seven. I, I'm, I'm concerned about them being able to pull it off in the next couple. The main character is a blank slate. <laughs> you know nothing no. about the main character. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> out of a hundred? Yeah. Uh, you know, nostalgia might be a factor, but uh, yeah, that's legit. I'd say like ninety. Like, Ninety-seven. Like, oh. Wow. <laughs> um. I loved it. It felt hey, like it went by in five minutes. It was quick. It was interesting. I laughed. I cried. It was I, funny. I, yeah, Much funnier funny. than I anticipated. I was on the edge of my seat three times within it. I mean, is there stuff that I would have liked that could have been a little bit better? Maybe. But it was a, a little lot more to of get in. Characters, maybe a, a little lot, less lot of information. Others. I would have liked to see more characters from previous movies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Even what? for even for a minute, you know what I mean? Even for a short bit. Well, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. I mean, it, for me, it was like genius at work. It was like just the, first of all, they took everything seriously. So like there's like a scene where they're running through these uh, battlefields and they're tracking shots and they're like continuous one shot takes where they have the actors full speed running through explosions. Now that's not CGI, that's legit them doing it. Then, then the lightsaber duels are <coughs> lighting, the way that the light the light hits their faces all the time, all that stuff, that takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot. This movie was supposed to be done I think three months before it got the done. details were all there. Disney allowed them to take the extra time to make it exactly how they wanted to do it. <laughs> they paid so much respect to the source material. Definitely. That one could argue that they went overboard on that, but for me it was like touching how much they went to it and uh, seeing my favorite people, my favorite characters <laughs> ever in the history of movies do it again. Yeah. It just it just rings so beautiful for me. So I give it a, a 95. And the only things that I, you know, there were some choices that I might not have made if I were making the, the movie, but unless I'm so not. Here, here's, a, here's, a, here's a better question, right? Yeah. Where does it rank in all the movies? Ever? Fourth. Star Wars. Fourth. Movies. Uh, Fourth for me. It's either three or four. It's either three or four. So Star Wars, uh, uh, Empire, Empire One, Star yeah. Wars Two, and then it may. I just watch Return of the Jedi. It may be better than Return of the Jedi. It's like two or three for me, which is which is pretty impressive. Better than the original, huh? Better than, better than Star the original. Wars. Empire is the best ever. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Time, bar none, but it's not yeah, not, Luke, not a controversial Luke, opinion. Luke did <laughs> whine a lot in that first movie. But that makes the transformation it's, it's part of what it is. I mean, it's, it's fine. The hero's journey. It's the beginning. Yeah. It's the origin. So it is what it is. But I mean, as far as I mean, what they could do now, what they could, I mean, with the budget they had then, it's like kind of like. Look, consider how much ways. money Lucas made the original Star Wars under, and then see that movie again. He made that movie on a budget, on a really yeah. tiny budget. There was no budget, no expense spared here. <laughs> Fantastic. This movie's gonna make. Two billion dollars worldwide. Oh, yeah. it's, it's gonna be the biggest movie ever, it's, it's without question. Fantastic. But crush the other three that they made. I it's mean. fantastic. Oh, uh, well, listen, this one is so much better than the prequel. You could take the best bits of every prequel movie, and still it would well, not be half I'll as just, good. And as I'll this just say, I think people hey, have tried are you that. happy that you saw it in IMAX and three D? 
Oh, yeah. And yeah. you would say if one, someone wanted to see it, they uh, should see no, it? You're, 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 if you can get to an IMAX 3D, you should do it. Right, and you I should agree. not let it go out of the theater without seeing it. I, I, have, I have seen it twice. Even though you gave it an 80. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, so that's it. So if you like the trailer, go see it. It will not disappoint. I love you and share my videos, watch them. And subscribe. Subscribe to my videos.